Hey everyone, this is Laura from Printavo. Um, I'm just here today to show you how to create a zap. So you have a new form submission go into a new quote in your Printavo. So first things first, I just created a really simple new order form on a jot form. So mine just looks like this. Yours will most likely be a lot different, uh, but this is just showing pretty much the bare bones of what you would need in a form uh, to be able to make this SAP uh, work correctly. So let me just put a new submission to my form right here. Let's say I need uh, shirts for a family reunion. Any notes you can order, item description. Um, let's just do this. I only need mediums right now. <laughs> 10, have the price, and have your customer due date. Let's say they need them by next Wednesday. So we want to have them done by Monday. So I'm going to submit this. Awesome. So now you're ready to start your zap. All right. So you're going to choose your trigger app, which in this case will be JotForm. So the trigger for this app will be anytime there's a new submission to that form. So you'll just want to select your JotForm account that uh, you want to be connected. And just give it a quick test. Looks like it was fine. You want to then select the form that you want to be linked. So in this instance, it's just that new order form that I created as an example. Now here you're just going to want to select a, these just pulls random submissions from that form just to test the zap. So I'll just go with this first one. So now you're going to want to pick your action app, which will be Printavo, because you want the end goal, the end result to be a new quote in Printavo. So I'm going to create a new quote. You want to make sure that your Printavo is linked. Now this page is how you map the new submission, so the new form, to the new quote. So you want to map the fields in the form to your fields in the new quote in Printavo. So you want to select the user in your Printavo. Your users will be listed here. And then you want to map how the line items are linked. So you want to do the price in your, in your form. So go down to fields price. So that 550 is what the price was in the form. You want to go down to quantity. Fields quantity, which is 10. And then any description of the, in the form. So I think I said it was family reunion shirts. Now here you want to select the customer due date. One thing to note is you need to make sure that your date is in this format with the slashes. So month slash day slash year. If it's a dash, it will not uh, map properly and you'll get an error code. So just make sure that in your form, uh, that's how your, late, your dates are listed. So we will go down and select Customer due date. You'll choose your customer. So Acme Productions was the company that I had on the form. Now you want your input voice status to be quote. This is just for this example, but you can have, if you want a submission on a form to go in and have it be automatically another status, you can do that as well. But in this instance, we want a new form submission to always show up as a new quote in our Printavo. And you're going to want to do a production due date. And again, just make sure that date format is with slashes. And then you can add any notes, production notes, sales tax info, anything you want. We're just going to keep it pretty simple. So now it pulled. This will show you what it pulled from the, what the zap pulled from the form that was submitted and what the information that it's going to go into our Printavo. So you can see here as the price, the quantity, description, due date, customer, what it's going to be, anything else. And again, uh, you can have more, way more information, but this is just kind of a bare bones example. So you're going to send 
your test to Printavo. It looks like it was successful. So now you want to go to your Printavo. This is just my test Printavo. And you want to see here that that quote populated right here. You can click on it. You can view it. It has all the information. So it looks like that zap worked. So then you want to go back. Zap. Select finish. Just name your zap. Form to quote or whatever you want it to be. Turn that zap on and then you are able to turn that on or off at your discretion on your Zapier homepage.